But here's how it maybe looks like more practically. This is uh, shaking hands uh, with people as they leave church. Now tell me if this is not how, exactly how it goes. Hey, Roberta says, my test results come on Wednesday. Oh, thanks for telling me. Quentin says, hey, Pastor, I think our church websites are looking a bit dated. Tim says, oh, Luke's in town for the summer. The altar guild says, this happened a couple weeks ago. <laughs> we quit. Okay. That's nice. Susan says, I just read this great sermon from I was making stuff up. This didn't really happen. <laughs> just making stuff up. Here's a new family. We're the Andersons. We just moved to town. Christy says, could I get a copy of your Bible study notes? Oh, go forward now. Let's see. Work your stuff out. Oh, John, my congregational president. I didn't get a chance to distribute the council minutes, and we should talk about usher training at our next meeting. Okay, John, thanks. Ruth says, I love that last hymn to be at my funeral. Frank says, I've got cancer. Carrie says, we're out of ice. Huh. <laughs> Kim says, I changed my phone number. I didn't know, for, for five years as a pastor, I did not know how to deal with that. I mean, I changed my phone number. That's not a big deal, but there's actually a lot of things that go into that. Bill, remember our New Year's Eve party? Bill, it's June. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill. Joanne says, did God create the demons? <laughs> and Jeff says, we should go to Israel. Now, okay, got it. Good questions, good stuff. Now, you see, now, this is a lot of different stuff, guys. Just in 10 minutes. I mean, it's coming at you. And what are you going to do with it? I mean, what sticks out from that whole thing? I've got cancer. And you are tempted, I suspect, to drop everything else for that. But all these stuff, the small stuff and the big stuff, is all handed over to you as a pastor. It's all handed over to you as a pastor. And this results, I mean, you, this is not just shaking hands after church. This is when you go and open your email. You get 100 email every day, 100 emails that need action. You get into church and you have 10 messages there. And, and you, it, I, don't, I don't know how it is in your minds. Um, I only live in my own mind. And, uh, but, uh, you know, th there's constant ideas and thoughts, uh, uh, projects and and, from, and to talking to people and, and the communications and the various things you have to do. It just comes at you. There's just a lot of it. Now, I make a list of the top three things I need to do on Sunday, but, the, but then uh, what do I do with all the other stuff? 